All right, I just picked up uh, my hand-built right here in Sacramento, California, USA, Gary Garcia, uh, Les Paul style guitar. I really, really like this guitar after plugging it in. Man, it just blows me away, absolutely. The craftsmanship and quality and attention to detail that goes into this guitar is extremely high. So I'll kind of go over some of the features. As you can see on the headstock, it has a, looks like a flamed maple that's been stained, trans black, with the Garcia logo, uh, gold uh, Grover tuners. That's where you can adjust uh, the truss rod, ebony fretboard with abalone inlays, medium frets, a tiger maple cap on top of a um, maple body, and I think he said he uses Kent, it was Kent or Lawrence or Armstrong, I can't remember which pickups, but they sound really good. They're a little bit hotter than what you would see in uh, most Gibsons and stuff like that straight from the factory, but they're not too high of output, so to speak, so they tone down really well, and it actually has a push-pull on the treble which, depending on which position you're in for your selector, will give you um, a tap or phase. So it does a couple of things without looking like it does a bunch of different stuff. That pretty much does it for the front. You can see he uses a nice thick top. Does a really good job with the finishes. Now for the back, so we'll just start down at the bottom. You can see uh, the mahogany there, and it's hard to tell if you are going to be able to see it, but the just the grain that he chooses because he handpicks all his own woods. You know the grain is, it looks straight, but it also has kind of a quilting there. I don't know if you're going to be able to notice that. I hope you can because it looks awesome. And he likes uh, mahogany for his necks, quarter sawn mahogany. And then there's a flamed maple stripe down the center of it. And if you look all the way up here at the top, you can see it all the way through. And then you can see the maple cap on the top here, veneer. And then on the back is actually an ebony veneer. So he kind of sandwiches them together. There's a Grover tuners and the ebony. Oh yeah, one thing I forgot is the nut only uses bone, even on his acoustics, all bone, won't, won't use anything else just because he likes the way that it transfers the sound. But uh, that's about all for now. Stay tuned for some videos of how it sounds.